Welcome back. Now, the cross-examination in the trial of Nigerian pastor Timothy Omotoso has raised concern about the nobility of the country's justice and crime prevention structures. South Africans at large and gender groups have also questioned the sensitivity of defense lawyer and the general regard overall for sexual offenses in the country. But as anxiety over the resistance of rape survivors to come forward lingers, authorities say that the public should have full trust in the justice system. So to discuss this further, we join now by Amanda Villagazi, who is an attorney and member of the Law Society of South Africa's Criminal Law Committee. And from our Cape Town studios, uh, we joined by Bongani Mkongi, who is a Deputy Minister of Police. To both of you, thanks so much for coming through and welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amanda, let me start with you. Um, many of us were absolutely flabbergasted last week uh, watching Cheryl Zondi give her mm. testimony at the Omotoso trial and the cross-questioning, the cross-examining mm. by Advocate Doberman. What was your take on what was going on there? Mm, so, uh, you know, when you are a defense attorney and are cross-examining, you, your purpose is to sort favorable answers from the witness and to perhaps discredit what they're saying uh, uh, and maybe put your, the client's version to them. Now, when uh, uh, the attorney asked the Miss um, uh, Cheryl's own questions, I was trying to find the relevance of some of the questioning. Now, it was for the presiding officer to decide whether such, whether such uh, uh, questions are relevant or they're just uh, for, uh, to, to, to attack the dignity of the witness. No. Okay. And then, and of course, watching that, one couldn't but wonder about what would be the repercussion, some of the unintended consequences mm. of this being open to the broader public. Mm. Uh, because you have people watching this who may be uh, rape survivors themselves and victims who haven't yet uh, garnered the courage to go and report this. But watching what was happening there, as you said, um, I had to wonder whether we as the lay public are perhaps overly sensitive mm. about what was going on there. Was Doberman not just doing his job? Well, he was doing his job. That is what I wanted to proceed on, on saying. He was doing his job. Remember, it depends on the kind of offense that you are charged with. If you are charged with theft, I'm going to ask you questions that have to do with the way that theft took place. Where was the money that you, the money that is alleged to be taken? Did you put it under the bed? <coughs> Where was it on top of the? Which hand did you use to? Did the, the alleged person use to 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 take the money? So I, I suppose a crime such as that of of rape, uh, it's unfortunate that those kind of questions have got to be asked, but we must be careful. Not to ask uh, to ask the questions that do not uh, uh, impair on the on their witness dignity. In fact, uh, if I find at the end of the day, or if the judge finds at the end of the day that there were no relevancy to the, the, some of the questions that the attorney was asking, it would therefore uh, lead to us concluding that he, he, he was in fact impairing on her dignity. Uh, Deputy Minister Mkonge, I mean, uh, from your perspective, I don't know how much of that you actually watched, uh, but if you did, what did you make of it? Thank you very much um, to you in the studio and uh, to South Africans. I am the Deputy Minister of Police in this country. And our responsibility is to arrest criminals and make sure that the criminals, they are charged at court. And when we go to court, we have victims, and then we have witnesses. And our responsibility is to defend our witnesses. I watched that mess in that court, and I'm angered with that mess in that court. We must defend our girls because the attitude and what was happening in that court, it makes our witnesses 
to run away from reporting cases that are very serious. Because there's no one that is defending them there when they are demonized and their dignity is trashed like that. The Law Society of South Africa must debate this matter. The Republic of South Africa must debate the behavior of the lawyers. Asking our children that question, how long, how big, how, I mean, what are you doing? You are telling another rape survivor not to go there. That is what they're telling Doberman. He's saying you must not report the case because I'm going to touch you at, around in court of law. Because justice must be seen to be served. Absolutely, Deputy Minister. And I'm glad you touched on all of those issues because there have also been reports about victims who already feel victimized when they get to the police station in order to report these crimes. So what is being done in that regard to actually make sure that there is no secondary victimization? We as the police, we've launched last year with Minister Mbalula a six-point plan where how police should behave. Police are no longer asking questions now, Guti, how did he do it, what, what? Because we take the survivor or the victim and saying the truth. And we are taking the side of the truth. And then the police officers must make sure that they take the victim to the hospital, to a professional doctor, and protect that evidence. And we must be able, that person, to be comfortable when he is in court and trained therapeutically to be able to contest people who like Doberman, they're in that court. So they are making our job very difficult. We are not saying that the defense lawyers must make our job very easy, but they must not insult our children. In court and in public, insulting our children. I'm very angry. And I want the state and South Africa to take action against that thing. Our children are not going to report this thing and they are dying. People are dismembering our children and put them in the suitcase and throw them in the rivers. And then there are people who are still demonizing them. We're in crisis here of children that are being killed and raped as people they want. And then we have people who are saying that they are law-abiding South Africans, but they are demonizing our own children. We must protect our children. We must defend our girls. Deputy Minister. It's our responsibility. We are going to take a short break. Deputy Minister Mkongi and also um, Amanda Vilagazi in studio here with me. And we're talking about the nobility of uh, the criminal justice system, especially in light of what has played out uh, during the Timothy Omatoso trial that gets underway again today with the second witness set to take the stand. Let's take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll continue with this discussion.